MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network continues. Thanks to Robin Black for joining me in a studio. As we mentioned, huge things going on here at the Fight Network as we've secured the Canadian rights to the UFC in a partnership with TSN and RDS. Another thing that we're really excited about uh, here at the Fight Network and the Fantasy Sports Network is our partnership with Countermove. And this isn't some sort of corporate crap conversation that we're about to have here with Christine Sullivan because she knows her stuff, uh, but... I sincerely uh, mean it, uh, Christine, when I say I want to thank you guys at Countermove for hooking up our, our viewers uh, with all the free rolls that you have. And not only just that, but for introducing um, fantasy MMA. Others had tried in the past. Uh, many others had tried. And some big, uh, big names had tried with some big money behind them. But nobody was ever really able to figure it out, either in boxing or in mixed martial arts, Christine, and I sincerely mean this when I say you guys by far are the best combat sport uh, fantasy website, uh, either boxing, MMA, by far. You guys have just knocked it out of the park and uh, nothing but big things coming up for you in the future for sure. Thank you so much, Gabe. We've had a lot of fun. We have worked really hard to, to put this game together, and um, I think the MMA fans really appreciate it, and the fantasy players too, so... Thank you very much. It means a lot to us. And, you know, for one of the fantasy players, because it's funny, because a lot of fantasy football players and baseball players, they might not be degenerate gamblers. I mean, the football guys might be. But a lot of people are just sort of fantasy. But I've noticed with you, you know, people such as myself that actually do bet that figure, well, what do I need to play the fantasy for when I already got 300 bucks on this fight or whatnot? But I tell you, I'm hooked. Uh, I get angry. And I always have the buyer's remorse right after the card. And I always think, why did I take that dude? And why didn't I take this dude? But I got to tell you, I've gotten a lot better at it. And, um, you know, what I really enjoy, I really enjoy, you know, the prelims, the premier fights. And you guys have added some, uh, some great kinks uh, over the last year. I'm sure you got some big things coming up. We do, yeah. I think what you're saying about sports betting versus uh, fantasy just how they compare is definitely what is being talked about nowadays. I think that fantasy is the, the future of sports betting. It's exciting for the avid fan. And in the case of MMA, like you said, as a fan, you're engaged all the way through the card from the prelims on. And it is just as exciting as gambling, but you have, you know, it's a little different stakes. And at the same time, you, you can be involved with people in the MMA community and kind of engage on that level, and you still have the strategic element that you have from betting. So there's a lot of the same draws, but it's totally different, but we're really stoked to, to bring these games out and have MMA fans play. Yeah, and for those of you that haven't checked it out yet, you can play for free, which is really cool. Like, if you're betting on, on the UFC, you need a bankroll. What's cool about this, you can enter a tournament for 5 bucks and potentially win 2500 or, you know, you want to play a $25 tournament, you could win, you could win, you know, $5,000, et cetera. We've got a $1,000 free roll up right now. It's the Fantasy Sports Network's Robin Black and Gabriel Morenci counter move free roll for John Jones and Daniel Cormier. And me and Robin were just talking about this fight. And, you know, me personally, I'm thinking back to fights that I was genuinely actually excited for. And, you know, I, I was really stoked when GSP fought BJ Penn uh, the second time in Vegas. So much hype leading up to the fight. I was really jacked up. Carwin and Lesnar got me really excited. But me personally, Christine, I haven't been this excited for a fight in, in years with Jones and Cormier. It's just going to be sick. Off the hook. I couldn't agree with you more. I think this is definitely one of the top ones of the last five years at least, and um, modern-day MMA. So I think that there's a lot of people who are very excited for this event to happen. And regardless of what side you're on for this, it should be just the rivalry alone makes it such a compelling story. And um, they have excellent records, and they're both probably going to go out and grind. I can't wait. Now, I, I like Daniel Cormier in this fight. I think Cormier is going to win the fight. Um, so obviously, I like him at a counter-move perspective, and I see $5,000 for... Uh, for Cormier, how do you guys come up uh, with the numbers? Because you know, I, I figured that it would be correlated with the odds, but it isn't always correlated. Do you guys do that purposely, where you flip it a little bit? How do you guys come up with the numbers? And we only got about a minute here. It's a tough question in a minute, but generally, <laughs> how, how do you come up with the, the numbers? Yeah, it is a tough question to answer. Um, definitely, they're going to always correlate with odds because, you know, 
like the champion John Jones is going to cost more than Daniel Cormier. So, yes, sometimes it may seem like, wow, that guy's a steal, but you never know. Your knowledge of MMA could be much more vast than the next guy. So you can, and that's what's cool about fantasy is you can see the little like, oh, my gosh, that's a steal in that pricing, or maybe that pricing's a little off. So, yes, they correlate with, with the odds, but, you know, based off the knowledge and of of a of a person playing, you're going to see those those holes and opportunities more than the next person or less. So I think that's what makes fantasy compelling is building that team. So you should know you know who's the strongest opponent, but you never know what's going to happen. And in MMA, a lot of uncertain things happen in the in that in the octagon. So you know it, it's it, it is what it is in terms of 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 you being able to build your team and seeing those holes. Yeah, and one thing, we got to wrap it up, but one thing that I really enjoy as well, and it's funny because I don't watch the WWE religiously. You know, I'll enjoy it when I actually see it, but I love playing the WWE fantasy stuff. Uh, I like that. I love that, you know, you had the jiu-jitsu uh, tournaments. Um, you, you got Bellator. Talk of uh, getting our boy Pavlich and the MFC uh, up and running. So uh, continued success at Counter Move. Once again, thanks for all the, uh, the free rolls, uh, Christine. You guys are class acts over there. Uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all that other stuff to you. Thank you, Gabe. You too. Can't wait for next year. There's uh, Christine Sullivan uh, with us from uh, countermove.com. Like I said, check out our free rolls. Although, warning, it is very addictive. You're playing for real money. There's one dude, he's made over $40,000 in the last year just playing fantasy MMA. And it's amazing. There's a lot of smart people out there. You think you know it all, and you're like, how the hell did this guy just get 513 points? Because he knew who Delima was, and he knew he was going to get him 112 points. All right. Um, you know, so uh, thanks to Christine Sullivan for joining us. Uh, thanks to Rob and Black. We'll come back uh, with our videos of the week. Thanks to Robin Black and Christine Sullivan for joining us. Don't forget to enter now, man. This $1,000 free roll is filling up fast for the John Jones and Cormier. And it does uh, fill up. They can't have 18,000 people uh, in this thing. So uh, check out countermove.com right now. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Once again, thanks a lot for taking the time to be with us and sharing uh, your Christmas or Christmas uh, Eve, Christmas Day, whenever you're watching a replay of this program. We always show you videos of people beating the crap out of each other and doing mean things to each other. Well, you know, we're going to do that here on the way out, but we got here's a fighter actually chokes somebody out, wins the fight, and then sees that his opponent is in a lot of trouble and then actually saves the guy's life. Other than that, you're on your own. Merry Christmas. Later.